Well, this one's going to be awful chatty. As you might recall, there was a bee swarm that came and it got out right there. So I got it in a box. You can see where things are a little yellow. That's where the box was. So I moved it yesterday over to here. You can move it about three or four feet and not really mess them up too bad. Later today, I'll move it over to there. And then finally, we're gonna jump the fence and set it here. This hive seems to be doing well. I had the queen castle sitting there for just in case, but it doesn't seem to really need it. Now this is a, a, a failure here. When that swarm happened, I came back to the mother hive and I went through it and found some queen cells. and made splits and the next morning I noticed the hive had moved this one was there and it got twisted I think something came and attacked these hives at night and basically killed all the bees either that or all the bees just left and went back to the I have this one after me right now, kind of. See how much. Because I'm out here unprotected going through this hive. There's ants. There's dead bees. Look at this whole frame of brood that just went to waste. What's weird is how there's bees smashed into it. I don't get that, how that happened. Oh, when I pushed it up against the side. And there's a queen cell that never got finished. What do you do with this? I guess throw it in there with the chickens, let them eat it. There's ripe queen cells. Let's just kind of do an exploratory here. I know it's what the heck. They're, they're dead. Let's see how close they came to merging. That one's still not developed at all, really. Let's check this next one. Doesn't look too good. Well, there's another one right there. Let's check it. Oh, there actually was a developed queen in that one. Or at least close. That was going to be a queen bee, but never made it. I'm getting over here in the flight path of that other hive, and it's kind of a little mad still, because it doesn't have a queen right now this minute. There are queen cells inside of there. I checked yesterday inside of that hive. They got a little angry at me, which will happen when there's no queen. I'm having trouble getting this up and out of here with one hand. Okay, I got that. And this is another one. Dang. A whole complete frame of 
cat brood like that wasted. This is, uh, you know, something you probably don't want to share. But here we are. Stuff happens. And, you know, you can describe what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. I put the right next to the mother. And the bees went back. Kind of. But they were good for, like, overnight. And then the next day, or the next night, something happened. Well, look at this. These guys all died. Never seen anything like this. And here's a, a nice queen cell right there. What they needed. I don't get it. I think that... I don't know. This one was close. You get the camera to focus there. See how it has purple eyes? That means it was like two or three days from emerging. That's how close this one made it. But that's a queen pupa that didn't make it. Stuff doesn't always go right. I think what happened was a there was a leaf that blocked that hole. You could also see some staining there. I think something came and was eating bees at night. That's a city guy over there trimming. I feel sorry for him when them bees get after him. They've been a little pissy lately because that one hive has no queen. Well, that's a quick look at a dead out, kind of. So it's not cool. All that brood got, those are bees that just never made it. They got cold because the other bees left and wouldn't keep them warm. They were just abandoned by their friends. Uh, that hive will recover. Might not make as much honey, that's for sure. But if there's, that's just one. Out of all the ones that I have, it's not a big deal. And if I really thought I needed to, I could get bees from other hives and carry them over here and give that some new uh, frames of, of larvae and cap brood to get it to recover. But it's really not a big deal. They're in, right now, that big hive at the back by the fence is, is trying to make a new queen. I went through it yesterday. The reason why I went through it was so I could see that if it had made more queen cells. See, when I did the splits, I assumed I was leaving stuff in the hive that would, uh, and what I mean by stuff is the eggs and, and very young larvae. Because that's what the bees use to make a new queen. It has to be uh, an egg that has hatched out within the last three days or something like that. It has to be very young, certain size larvae. And they'll turn that into a queen. It takes time. So I waited a few days and then went back to look and see if they had found what they needed. And yes, they have. I searched through the hive until I found queen cells on a frame. There were two that I found, so I just put it back together and left. I'm not going to mess with it for about a month. It takes a while for the queen to develop and then emerge. Then it has to 
hang out in the hive for a day or two or three to get its wings to harden and get where it can fly. And then it flies and gets mated. A queen bee, if you ever see or hear one flying, has a higher pitch to its wing beats It's because it, it's faster. A queen bee can fly much faster than other bees. I don't, I don't know if the drones catch her or if she lets them catch her or what. I'm not sure how that happens, but if you ever hear a queen fly, the wing beats are much higher pitch because they're, they fly faster. That's kind of different, but they're speedy, at least when they're young and not baited yet. After they get mated, they get heavy and can barely fly. And... Uh, a mated laying queen, if you have what it is your hand and it flies, it's going to fly down at a 45 degree angle probably and then hit the ground and that's it. When the swarm happens, the, the bees, the entire colony gets where it's running around and running around and in the process it kind of chases the queen bee. They quit feeding her and she slims down to where she can fly. So if you open up your hive and it seems like it's extra full of bees, they're boiling up over the sides and, and you pull out a frame and the bees are all runny and drippy. As you pick up the frame, bees are like running and just down at the bottom runny like water almost and then they drip off. That's a hive that's about to swarm when they're like that. They're running the queen. And the bees are runny because they're running around. And she's on a crash diet so she could fly. And I don't know what triggers it, but I imagine eventually she's feeling good and then exits and then flies. I don't know how they communicate when and all that. But I have been nearby when a swarm happens. They just pour out onto the ground in front of the hive like water. It's uh, crazy to watch and loud. It's very loud when a swarm happens. You won't, if you think you're having a swarm, listen. If the air is completely full of bees, they're all buzzing like hell, that's a swarm. If they're just kind of quiet and then flying around, that's an orientation. There are orientation flights that look like bees are pouring out of the front of the hive and then they crawl up on the side and then fly back and they, their orientation flight confuses a young beekeeper into thinking it's a swarm. I, I remember when I was, you know, just getting into it. And they'd be orienting, and I'm going, oh, I'd be panicking, thinking I got a swarm. It's a fun hobby. Have a fun if you think about doing it, but also be ready for the disappointments. Uh, they, the bees could just about fix just about anything you screw up. And I don't know I, if you could say I screwed up that split. But, you know, I've done so many of them just like that. Right next to the mother hive. I know that's not quite right. But it, it works for me. And has worked over and over and over. Something just went goofy on this one. I think there are animals around here. that are attack, messing with that hive back there. And that's why it's so mean. Maybe they messed with the little baby hive, too. So far, the swarm hasn't been bothered, which is just right along the same fence. Uh, I really don't know what's going on, but don't really care. It's, it's beyond my control, pretty much. Uh, I just cope with it and deal with it and move on. I've got other hives. I've got other fish to fry. And I've got other splits going too. So it's not the end of the world to lose a little bit of bees. I'll gain them back later. You watch. Keep keep track of the series of adventures this spring. And uh, I'll catch a swarm before long. Have a good day. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. And bye-bye.